Good morning, sir. Okay. We are on 15. Yeah. We're talking about who wrote Sefer Tehillim. They are part of it because we have Ms. Morla Vnei Korah. Yirmiya Kosov Sifro. Yirmiya Novi wrote his own Sefer, the Sefer Malachim. Yirmiya wrote Sefer Malachim, the keynote. He wrote Echa. Chizkiya Vesiato, Chizkiya and his uh, assistants, Kosvu Yishayahu, Mishlei, Shirashirim the Kohel. We're going to see later on that there's going to be a discussion regarding those that Shlomo Melech wrote those. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Anshik Nesazagdola Kosvu Icheskel Ushne Masar Daniel Umegila Sester Ezra Kosov Sifro the Yache Shal Divrayomim Adlo. The whole point of him writing Divrayomim was to be Miyaches. His family all the way back. Part of the process before Ezra went up from Bavel was to purify all the Yichus. Who finished it? Nechemia ben Chachalia. That's why we call it Ezra and Nechemia. Amr Mar Yeshua Kosov Sifro Ushmon Apsukim Shabatoira. The last eight Psukim of Torah's Moshe was written by Yoshua because it says Vayamas Sham Moshe. So how can he write it? He was dead. Tanya Kamando Amar Shmon Apsukim Shabatoira Yoshua Kosva. It's actually Machlokas Tanoim who wrote this last eight Psukim. This is according to Mando Amar that says Yoshua wrote it. The Tanya Vayamas Sham Moshe Eved Hashem. Efshar Moshe Meis for Kosva Vayamas Sham Moshe. Moshe has died and yet he's writing. Ela Adkan Kosov Moshe Mikanda Ela Kosov Yoshua. Up until there, Moshe wrote, and then from then on, Yoshua wrote. Div Rab Yuda, the Amri La Rab Nachemia, Amri La Rab Shimon. After say for Torah Chaser Ois Achat, how could it, you say that the Torah is missing one letter that Moshe didn't write? Chasiv La Koach a Sefer Torah Zeh. He was told take this Sefer Torah. That means the whole thing. El Ad Kana Kodesh Baruch Hu Oimer Moshe Oimer VeKoisiv. Up until the last day Pesukim, Kodesh Baruch Hu dictated. And Moshe wrote, Mikan Veilach Hakadosh Baruch Hu Oimer Moshe Koisav Vedema, and Moshe writes it with tears. He was told Vayamis Shem Moshe, and it was written in tears. Moshe Nemer Lahalim Vayerem Lahem Baruch Mi Piv Yikra Elias Kol Vima Elav Ani Koisav Al Sefer Badyo, like it says in Yirmiyah that Baruch Ben Neria uh, dictated and he wrote. Kaman Az Laadam Rav Yishu Barav Am Rav Gidol Am Rav Shmoni Pesukim Shavatur Yochid Koi Roisan. Those last eight psukim, you cannot give to two aliyahs. It has to be one person has that whole aliyah. Is it Lame Rab Yudi or Lok Rab Shimon? Because maybe according to Rab Shimon, since it's a regular piece of Torah, you could do uh, like we do everywhere else, divide it up the way we want. If you Tema, Rab Shimon, Hoyl Vishtanu, Ishtanu. It wasn't written exactly like. The rest of the Torah, because even according to one that wrote it, was written by Moshe, was written with his tears. So it has a special din. Yoshua Kosov Sifro. I, how could Yoshua write his safe at the end of the safe? It says, Vaxi Vayamis Yoshua Binun Ever Hashem. So to ask Elazar, Elazar, the son of Aaron, was still alive, he finished it. I, Vaxi Elazar bin Aaron Mays. At the end there, it also says Elazar died. The ask Pinchas, Pinchas. Who was alive also, he finished that. Then it's a Shmuel Kos of Sifro, Baxi Vushmuel Meis, the Aske God the Choyze and Nosna Novi. God the Choyze and Nosna Novi finished it. David Kos of Sefer Tiel by the Asoras Keni. The Lichshav Nami Eitana Ezrachi. One of the Tilim is authored by Eitana Ezrachi. Why don't we mention him? Amarav Eitan Ezrachi Zeu Avram Avinu. It's Avram Ksivacha Eitan Ezrach. Ksivacha Mi Heir Mi Mizrach Tzedek. So Ezrach and Mizrach is Avram. Kachash of Moshe, Kachash of Hema. Now, it listed in the people who wrote Tehillim, Moshe and Hema. But the Gemara had a tradition that Moshe and Hema were the same person. Right? Vamarav Hema and Moshe. 
Right? So Moshe is referred to as Haman. So the Moshe says, try Haman out, but there were two Hamans, Moshe and this other guy, this other Haman. Moshe cuts of Sifro, Parsha's Bila and Ve'iv. Moshe wrote the Torah. He wrote Parsha's Bila. Why is this unique? Because Bilam also, this was a Nevua that came directly to him. Ve'iv. The silent Rab Levi Bar Lachma. The Amr Levi Bar Lachma. Iyuv bimei Moshe haya. Iyuv lived at the time of Moshe Rabbeinu. Ksivach ami yitain efo v'kasfun milai. So he uses the word efo. And by Moshe, ksivosum uvamei vada efo. So the use of that word, the Gemara says, must be Iyuv lived during the time of Moshe. Eba bimei Yitzchak. Maybe lived at the time of Yitzchak to see if me a foe who had sad Sayyid. Where is the hunter? And the aim of Meyako to see if him came a foe Zasasu. They also used the word a foe. The aim of Meyosef to see if a foe in Roim. So lo sake daitech to see if me ten basefer viu chaku. In Eo, it talks about the Mechokek. Umosha who decreed Mechokek to see if I are ratio slow. Kisham chalkas Mechokek safun. So the language of, of the Mechokek is in Iyu. Rava Omar Iyu b'mei Meraglim Iyu was at the time of the Meraglim. Tziv Ocha, Iyu shaya be'eretz utz Iyu shmo. Eretz utz Iyu. Utziv Ocham hayesh ba'eitz. Imayin. When Moshe sent the Meraglim, go find out if there's eitz. Moshe says, Mi dami hocha utz hasam eitz. Hocha karmad l'Yisrael. This is what Moshe would say. Yeshno also Adam. There's a man in Israel. Shoshnois of Arukos Ka'etz. He's lived as long as trees. Umegin al Dorkates. And he protects his generation like trees. Yosef Aum Rabbana Kamei Rav Shmuel Bar Nechmeni V'Yosef Kamer. Iyuv lo'ayev lo nivra. Elam Moshe lo'ayev. Iyuv was not a real person. It was all a parable. Arma le'alecha amar kra. Ishaya Beretz Utsi of Shmo. So there was a real person. How can you tell me he was a marshal? So the Gemara says, Ela Meata Vilarash in Kol, Ki Im Kivsa Achas Ktana Shakana Vayichia. That in Shmuel, a marshal was given. About a, one man who has a sheep, so there also is this a story. Miava did that. El Moshe Ba'alma, Chanami Moshe Ba'alma. Just because it's written and it says Isha Yaberetz Utz, it could be a Moshe. Im Kain Shmo V'Shemir Olama. So why did you give his name, his name and the name of his city? If it's a Moshe, just give me his name. Rav Yechiel Rav Belozer Damer Tavar Eiv Mo'ele Goy Lahayu. Eiv came up with Ezra Soifer from Bada. Who based Midrashim Petveria? He's based Midrashim Petveria. So Meisvei Yemesh Noisa Shul Iyuv Misha Shalich Nesu Yisrael Mitzrayim Bat Shiyotzi. Iyuv was as old as when they came into Mitzrayim when they left. So I it was not an Ezra. Eim Ab Kemesha Shalich Nesu Yisrael Mitzrayim Bat Shiyotzi. Those are the numbers of years, but it's not that he lived during that time. Meisvei Shiva Nevi'im Nesnabulu Masa Oilam. There were seven Nevi'im whose primary Nevuah was to the Goyim, Elohim. Bilam v'aviv, v'iyuv, Eliphaz ha-Temani, u'vildad ha-Shuchi, v'tsoifra na-Mosi, v'eliyu ben Brachi la-Buzi. Omer le'i v'letamech, eliyu ben Brachi la-Mi Yisrael ava? So the Gemara assumed that these were all Goyim. So how can you say that? Eliyu was a Jew, oxiv mi mishpachas ram. Ela in bui in bi l'um ha-Shon, their primary Nevuah was to Goyim. So two Eov's primary prophecy was to the Goyim. What the other Nevi'im, like Yirmiya, Yeshaya, the other Nevi'im, their Nevuah is not to the Umas Oilam? So Gemara, yes, it is, but Hosam Iker Nevi'osal Yisrael. The Nevi'a Yisrael, like Yeshaya, their primary Nevuah was to Jews. Here, their primary nevuah was to Goyim. 
Meisveg. Chosid Ayabumus Oilam. It was a chosid among the Goyim. The Eu Shmo. The Lobala Oilam and the Kabel Schoro. He came into the world so Hashem could give him his schar. If Yekarish Brochel of Yisuri, Hakarish Brochel made him suffer. His chil macharef from Makadev. He cursed Kafal Hakarish Brochel schar bel mazeh. Kedel tart of an oil lavad. He got double reward in this world to get rid of him in oil lavad. So you see, according to this price, he's, he's not a Jew. But more sense of achlek is tanoim. Tanoi, the Tanoi of the Ezra, Imer, Il Vimei Shvota Shoftim Ayyad. He lived in the time of the Shoftim. Shoftim, Shnemar, Einatem Kulchem Chazitem, Vlama Zehevel Tebol. The Shoftim was a time of Hevel. Ezer Dor Shekul Hevel Avi Omi, Zedor Shel Shvota Shoftim. Rav Yishu Ben Kor Chol Oimer, Il Vimei Achashveru Shad. He lived during Achashveru. Shnemar, Vlo Nimtza Nashim Yafot Kivnot Iyav Bechol Oretz. The most beautiful women were the daughters of Eve. Now, who talks about beautiful women? Which generation were we occupied with beautiful women? Where he had a beauty pageant. When he got older, they tried to find a woman that would warm him up. That was only in Israel. Here it was the whole world. Rav Nosson Omer, Iyav Bimei Machu Shva Hayyam. Iyav lived during the time of the Queen of Sheba. Shenemar, Vatipol Shva Vatikachem. So it talks about Shva during Iyav. Chacham Omerim, no. Iyav Bimei Kazdim Hayyam, during the Nebuchadnezzar. Shenemar, Kazdim Samu Shloisha Roshi. V'yesh Omerim, Iyav Bimei Yaakov Hayyam. V'dina Bas Yaakov Nasa. Eve married Dina. Ksiv Acha Kedaber Achas on the Balos to Dabri. Ksiv Asum Ki Nevalas of Yisrael. By Dina, it says Nevalas, so there's a heckish between the words in Eve and Dina. The Kulutanai Svirlu the Eve Misrael Avin. The Bar Meyeshoimim. Everybody, all of these Tanoim hold that he was Jewish except for the Yeshoimim. The Yisrael Kedaitik Mumas Oilam Avva. Basar Shkiv Moshe Mishar Shkina Lumas Oilam. After the death of Moshe, was there Shechina on, Goy, on some Goyim from other nations? <laughs> Moshe Davin, that, that, that there shouldn't be, after his death, Navu on Goyim. Venitano was given to him. We are unique. The Generation of you was sunken in sexual immorality. Shneemar, heina tem kulchem chazisim velama zehevel tabalu uksiv shuvi shuvi yashalamis shuvi shuvi venechzebach. Pasuk in Shir Hashirim, so chazisim refers to looking at znus. Freitik mo emel benevua. How do you know the chazisim is znus? To chazif chazon yishayav ben amos in Cain, lama zehevel tabalu lamali. So the, the hevel refers to the znus. It was a generation where the people judge their judges. The judge would tell the litigant, take that toothpick out of your eye. They would respond to him, take the beam out of your eye. That means you think we're sinners, you're a sinner too. You, uh, he would claim that they were counterfeiting money. You are diluting your wine with water to sell it more. So nobody was following Allah. Malka Shva is not referring to a queen of Sheba who visited Shlomo. It's just the Malchus that visited him. My Malka Shva Malchus the Shva, the king of Shva. We learned this already in Malachim, it's Machlokas, whether it was a she or, or not. So the Gemara is now going to 
discuss a little bit about Sefer Eub. The Malachim gathered around Hashem. The Sotm was there. And they asked, Where are you coming from? And the, the Sotm answered, I was flying around the world. I found nobody more uh, Neman than Avra. You had promised him When his wife died and he couldn't find a place to bury her, he didn't he didn't have complaints against you. So Hashem says to the son, Did you see my servant Eeuv? There's nobody like him. The Psukim praised Eeuv more than Avram. I now know your Yure Elohim. Yure Elohim Vesar Meira. My Vesar Meira. Amrav Avram Shmuel Eeuv Vatram Bimamoinayo. He gave away his money. Minago Shalom Noisan Chatsiputa Lachendani. Eeuv Yitra Mishilo. When you go to a market and the you pay the grocer and the grocer owes you less than a pruta, whatever, you, you let the chenveni keep the half a pruta. If somebody bought from him, he was mavater on that chatsi pruta, and he would let the the buyer keep it. Vayana sat nes Hashem. The son responded, "Vayom achinam yerei Eiv Elohim." Eiv is fearing you. It's not the shame shemayim. He's benefiting. Halo atos sach the ba'adu ve'abeso. You've given him wealth and a big family. My maisa yodav berach. What do you mean? You blessed his hands. Am Rosh Hashanah bar Yitzchak kol anoytel put to me Eiv his barich. When Eve would give money to people, they would get blessed. My umikneu parts parts. He had massive flocks. Umrav Yosi Berchanina mikdeu shel Eve parts of there shel oilo. He there were there was no counting his flocks. In August shel olam's avi morgi ma'izim. Normally the the wolves would kill the goats. Mikdeu shel Eve izim morgi ma'izim avi. In Eve's flock, the the goats would kill the wolves. However, the sudden said, "Lam shlachna yadcha, the gabba chol asher lo." If I strike you with what he has, in law panecha yivarcha, he'll curse you. By Yom Hashem el asot nine kol asher lo biyadcha. So Hashem said, "Son, I give you permission to do whatever you want. Rak elav al tishlach edah. Don't kill him." So vayi hayom uvanav uvnosav ochlim v'shotim yain beveis achim abuchor. The day came, and Eiv and his sons and daughters were eating at the bechor. Umalach bal Eiv hayom rabakar yuchor shors. The end. Vau tonot root al yadehem. Who is going to plow with the cattle? My abakar yuchor shors vau tonot root al yadehem. Am Rav Yechlon. Olamit shiitim akadosh baruch hu leiiv me'ena olam abba. That in Olam Abba, plowing and harvesting come at the same time. Here as well, he was saying that the cows are going to plow and the donkeys are going to be, um, are going to already be eating from things that are growing immediately. Okay, we will continue, we'll have this for the next couple of blocks, a whole discussion about EU. Interesting. Yeah.